Okay, good morning to everyone. Uh, welcome to Panda Key Learning. So hope I'm uh, audible to you. Please check with my voice. So if you want to see exactly, like if you want to watch properly, so you have to check with your net connection also. So attendance like remaining thing we will provide you at the end of the meeting. So now we will go with the basic thing and uh, uh, we will discuss about the five G communication based. Okay, hope I'm audible to you all people. Yeah, good morning to everyone. Welcome to Panda Key Learning. So today uh, we are going with a uh, webinar on 5G communication, wireless communication. And present days how we are working with the wireless communication and we have different type of uh, communications were there. So like uh, from starting to ending like a uh, fast operation of communication and slow of operation of communications are there. We will discuss all, go, all those things here in a practical way and as well as theoretical way. So before going to that, so Pandic is a big platform who are searching for the new technologies and who are searching for the projects for many major internship workshops. So we already uh, did lot of workshops. So in a webinar, in YouTube webinar, and we conducted offline online workshops and as well as uh, we have provided uh, requirements for the research and development people also. So now uh, we, we can go with the webinar on 5G wireless communication. So thanks for giving this opportunity to Sri Venkateshwara Permal College of Engineering. So thank you sir, thanks for giving this op op opportunity and our convener sir. Bandi Sharda ma'am, thank you ma'am, department of EC department. Thank you very much. Thanks for giving this opportunity. Hope all people can enjoy with this session and we can get some uh, information about the new uh, things, what we are discuss, uh, discussing here, the 5G, 5G communication. So please check with my voice also. And here, so we are going with the 5G communication to you today. So before going to the communication part, so a a theoretically and uh, where we are using this communication part and how we are using, how many types of communications are there, we can check with the theoretical information here. So here, uh, first, what is your content? for the today purpose so we have to go with the introduction of the communication and we have different type of communications with the uh, updation things 
how we came exactly with the 5G technology and before going to that uh, uh, directly we can't come with the 5G technology and we should start with the starting point all those requirements we can check here and um, before going to the wireless communication here so I need to tell about the theoretical part of the communication so communication is nothing but what so communicate means we have to communicate the, with the people or any person or any uh, information with the uh, uh, robotic part or the human being if you want to transfer your information to the particular person or any uh, any information to that so uh, you are the source person you have to transfer the information to the destination person sometimes you have to gather the information from you should receive the information from the destination person to your person so at the time the destination person should act like a source person and you are the destination person at the time when you are receiving the information and in this receiving of the information so we have the two options so wired communications are there and wireless communications are there so before going to this wired, uh, wireless communication we can check with the wired communication okay so and what is the use of this wired communication and wireless communication if you want to connect with the people or any human being or any robotic part if you want to transfer the information and we have two types of the communications are there so wired communication and as well as the wireless communication but whenever we started with the wired communication so we are getting some problems with the communication part because the wired data uh, whatever we are taking the wide information it's taking a space so that's why we have to move from the wide communication to the wireless communication previously you can check with a uh, wide communication we have started with the landlines with the wide communication but so like uh, uh, past years some people only used this communication part to contact uh, with the person if you are going with the telecommunication so if person want to contact with the another person only less people used but now so more people are using if more people are using we should connect wide communication with a uh, lot of wide information means we have to take the hardware setup uh, with a wide data and we should connect to whole country or uh, whole areas but it's very difficult to connect all areas because it's taking a space sometimes you will get issues with that also but whatever you are taking with the wide communication so the information whatever you are trying to share the information from the source to destination means from the transmitter to receiver so it's very clear compare with the wireless communication you can see the earphones also example purpose i will tell you the earphones so if you are using wide earphones we can get the clear information when you are using the wide but with the wireless communication we can get sometimes issues but if you want to rectify this wired areas like it's taking some space uh, in through the air or uh, what is that through the through the space or uh, what is it through the land so it's taking too much of space whenever you're taking the wired communication means we have to take the wires we have to connect with the wires for the communication uh, with uh, for the telephone applications or anything okay so at the time so uh, it's not uh, easy to connect all people with the wired data then the people started with the wireless communi communication here for the purpose of unlimited people because uh, previously some people only used we have started with the wired communication but now we are in a wireless communication in wireless communication also we have different type of the wireless com communications are there but we why we started this information because all people are uh, need to talk with the people so present days you can see like uh, compared with the past days so in past days what we did so if you want to connect with the person if you want to uh, transfer any information we have the letters but it's taking too much of time we have to uh, uh, reduce the time information when you want to say share the information to the other person so the time is taking very high so we have to rectify those problems by using this communication part so with wired also we are getting the problems that's why we moved with the wireless wireless is nothing but it's like a bluetooth it's like a wi-fi connection and you can see we have different type of the towers 
so if you are going with the airtel jio so like that we have different type of uh, uh, telecommunication based uh, uh, connections are there network connections right so that's why what we did here so in wireless communication these many things are there we have to gather all those information and people are very high and the next information is so like uh, previously we have different type of mobiles but now we have updated mobiles why we need updation at any time means so we are not satisfying with the old information every time we have to satisfy the people with the new updations so that's why you can see if you are going with the previous mobiles okay keypad mobiles or any starting of the mobiles with the wireless so we have only the uh, less time to speak with the people and uh, less uh, information only there and we have less space uh, to connect the people but now lot of people are working with a lot of technologies so that's why so and the people uh, domination also very high now present days lots of people are using the communication based with the mobiles or any other those things so that's why we should improve this wireless communication so now i'm going with the what is wireless so wireless is nothing but whenever you're not taking any wide communication like through the space or through the land through the water then you can say that is wireless communication means we are not using any wires we are using uh, some space uh, whatever we have the cloud information we are using some space based on the space only we are transferring the information and we are receiving the information right uh, example one thing i will tell you about the wireless communication previously we have wide uh, information for the television right but now we have antennas so by using the antennas like a uh, tata or uh, what is that uh, sun direct we have different type of uh, antennas are there present is right so how we are getting the information through the wireless communication only we are receiving the information from the source person so that is only we can say here the wireless communication this is the example for the wireless communication and what we can do with this wireless communication means here uh, whenever the sender is sending the information to the receiver person so how it will send so directly we can't send from uh, sender to the receiver for example you call to your friend or your father you are at a hostel you are trying to call your uh, father or mother and you are calling to them and directly it won't connect to, to uh, call to the particular person of the receiver person because whenever you are calling the uh, uh, your father okay whenever you are calling to your father it will take time because whatever you are trying to send the information you are sending request to the space Uh, in space whatever we have the wireless data communication with the satellites or anything it will receive the information from you and it will acts like a main information uh, uh, like a satellites or anything it will acts like a main information to get the uh, sender information and it will give that information to the receiver person through the space so that is only we can say the wireless communication and how uh, the receiver person will receive the call because if the person is very near then it will connect automatically call to the receiver person when person is calling from the sender side to the receiver side then they will get but sometimes the person is very far and we don't have much more uh, communications or there like uh, sometimes uh, what is that you can see towers are not available in in that area so it will re, uh, it will connect the call to the receiver person but what we can get the uh, problem here definitely we can get the problem so uh, with the communication because uh, towers are not there then what will happen there the towers are not there means the communication is very low so whenever you going with the communication is very low so at the time uh, whatever you are speaking that information through the receiver uh, the receiver uh, won't uh, uh, what is that uh, receive the information whatever you are telling for example hello daddy uh, so like that you are telling to your father but the information is not there like uh, whatever we have the sending to the receiver in between we have some hub type so some uh, satellite the space information is there so in that area maybe towers are not there means the information won't go to the receiver person it will cut definitely because of the noise okay we can rectify this noise also by using the amplification 
and that is another thing uh, that is another thing so here before going to the uh, telephone communication or anything how we started okay so we can uh, check with the wireless communication here so we have started with the technology of wireless communication with the 1g technology and we will think like what is 1g 2g 3g 4g i will tell you about that also here so what is nothing but 1g 2g 3g 4g 5g so now we are in a 5g communications right so what about the 1g 2g 3g 4g for example uh, if you are taking a past mobile if you are wa you watching youtube okay then it will take too much of time to open to uh, to reload like that okay but now if your mobile is a 4g mobile or the 5g mobile then what will happen at the time definitely you can get the information within a less time of fraction of seconds because in past uh, whatever we have the technologies 1g 2g or 3g we can see the youtube you can we can watch the youtube but what will happen at the time it will take time means it's not about the fast operation some less uh, operation is there it won't give a video within a fraction of seconds actually i have uh, this is one hour class for example you are downloading trying to download the one hour class okay then what will happen if you have 2g 3g it will take too much of time to download but if you are with the 4g or 5g then what will happen it will download automatically okay so within less time it will download so that is only the technology updation presentation so not only about the technologies the people are also updating nowadays right so not only working with the software companies uh, only the btech people and other people also working because the updation is there with all people not only for the technologies whenever we updated automatically the technologies will get updated updated here so now we are going with the manzi technologies here we just started the manzi technologies here after completion of like a after updation of wired communication we started with the 1g technology so what 1g technology we can see you can see the mobile here what we have the mobile this is about the 1g technology if you are watching old movies they will use only this type of the mobiles right because at the time only some people used these uh, like uh, for the communication purpose mobiles because all people are uh, not having more money okay only rich people can uh, buy the mobiles and they will only use now present days it's useful to all people and people should need about the mobile and uh, people should communicate with each other so that's why all, all people are buying nowadays okay but previously so who are having the more money who are having the more requirement they can only by the mobiles so at the time so in 1980s they have started about the 1g okay so it's about the wireless telephone they have started a uh, 1g mobile 1g technology uh, in this 1g technology of the mobile communication so the speed is very less you can see 2.4 kbps can you accept now now 2.4 kbps if you are downloading any video also how we will think your 2.4 kbps like that oh it's too slow we will think if it is showing mb is based we will think like yeah it's taking very fast like that we will think right so previously in 1g whenever you are going with the 1g technology we have the speed only up to 2.4 uh, kbps okay so and the next one is we are telling so we have uh, it's a starting information uh, for the wireless communication so they have taken only the permission and they got a permission and uh, they got the information only throughout only one country it will allow only the calls to the one country but present days we can call to the any other type of uh, countries also it will take a roaming process but uh, we can connect to the all people through worldwide but at starting time how we call to the people means it will allow only the one country of the people and in 1g network we used only the analog signal not about any digital signal we used only the analog signal here the next one is amps was first launched in usa 1g mobiles so where we started this amplitude modulation based uh, uh, what is it uh, mobiles they started 
in USA, United States of America, they have only started this 1G technologies. Okay, from the after completion of that wide communication, they have started like this 1G communication. Okay, so now we are going with the drawbacks in 1G technology, and we know very well about the back uh, drawbacks, right? So what are the drawbacks? Poor voice quality. Why it's pure voice, uh, poor uh, voice quality compared with the a wide communication in wide communication means it mm -hmm. won't connect any a uh, signal uh, with this communication right but if it is wired means if we are getting any problems uh, uh, what is it in space if rain is coming means we can't connect to the people sometimes the voice is very low okay And the next one is poor battery life so they have started so they have started with the new information with the wireless it's giving only the poor battery life because uh, the speed is very less and we can connect with only the single type of the like a single type of the country information and we have very battery life because you can see the designing part it's how hard compared with the new mobiles now you can see present is the mobiles very simple and very lightweight but you can see this one the material may be a different and uh, whatever we are using the past information so that's why uh, poor battery life means less time only there for the battery life next large phone size you can see it's very high size right compared with the new technologies so the next one is no security yes we don't have any security present days we have the passwords we have the fingerprint like that we have different type of things when they started at the time we don't have anything like this so we have to call to the uh, so from center to the receiver person and they will leave the call if any person also speaking we can't do anything and if any person stolen our mobile also we can't do anything with that okay and limited capacity why it's limited capacity because we have only the space up to uh, very less type of the space we have with this 1g technology so that's why poor hand of reliability means hand off is nothing but if you want to cut the call if you want to receive the call at the time we can get some problems with the 1g technology so now we are going with the 2g technologies so we have these many uh, disadvantages are there then what we will do if you are doing your any project okay so what we will think if you are uh, already some people or existing projects are there we have to take the existing projects from that what are the dis uh, disadvantages you have to rectify it then you can work on with the disadvantages you have to rectify the disadvantages right so here also in 1g technology these many disadvantages are there drawbacks that's why we have to improve that one by using 2g technology so in 2g technology so uh, in 1g technology what we have the option ma we have only calling option we don't have a message option here okay so that's why they have started in a 2g technology so in 1990s 2g technology we can say this is a second generation in this we used gsm module what is nothing but gsm so why we are using this one if you want to send any text message or any multimedia information okay then we can use this gsm module to send or receiving the information of the picture or any multimedia or any uh, what is that uh, uh, messages we can use this gsm module okay so newly what uh, what they uh, deployed here gsm module they have deployed and they have started in 1990s this is about the digital network in a 2g okay the next one is speed you can see 2.4 kbps is there now right previously in 1g technology now you can see 64 kbps so the speed is increased compared with the 1g generation and the features what we are using the features what we are doing in a new things with the 2g technologies okay so we can send the text messages and as well as we can send the multimedia picture uh, messages also we can send mms is nothing but what picture message and the multimedia purpose also mms is nothing but multimedia messages so we can share the video through the mms also and it will provide the uh, quality and capacity compared with the new what is that uh, 1g technology can you observe this one the size is very less compared with the first new 1g technology because 
we have updated with the new technologies they have started with the new materials they worked so they got this information okay so in this you can see if you want to work this one okay so if we can go with the wireless technology and we can send the information through the messages with the messages videos by using the mms and sms like that but we have some complexities to send such a videos sometimes we can't send a videos more size of the videos okay so you can see so this is the one uh, one uh, 1g wireless uh, systems whatever we have the mobiles these are the 2g so in 2g we have a less size of the information is there so but we have a poor quality to send the video and we have a weak signal in a digital signal so that's why the weak signal is there weak signal is nothing but what whatever we are receiving the call from another person we can't receive properly through the wireless that's why we have to improve the we have to amplify the signal that's why we are going with the 3d technology here 3g technology so this 3g technology we have started 2000s okay so in 2000 century only they have started the 3g technology and we can use the data transmission speed is 144 kbps to 2 mbps it's very increased and that's nice and uh, at the time with the 3g technology we used smart mobiles also okay so this is the information here whatever we are discussing so we can call it as a smart mobiles also okay so whenever we are started with the 3g technologies and we started with the smart mobiles here and in smart mobile deals what we can do we can send the audio information we can see the audio information we can send the video information so compared with the 2g technology we have a more option to send and receive the information with the smart mobiles in this 3g technology and what are the features of this 3g technology is providing the faster communication why so we have taken the 3g means compared with the 2g or 1g the fast operation is very high why i'm telling it's a very fast communication because you can see the 144 kbps to mbps so the speed is very high that's why i'm telling to here so providing a fast communication here the next one is if you want to send the any email information or receiving the email information through the wireless communication with these mobiles we can use this information so that's why i'm telling here sending and receiving large mail messages are possible here the next one is high speed web or more security why i'm telling here the more security if you are using 3g mobiles we uh, we have options like for the security purpose so fingerprint is not there at the time so they have started with the uh, password passwords how we can use the passwords we can use the numbers right otherwise we can use the pattern otherwise we can use that some text information for the security purpose right so and i am telling high speed web why high speed web previously 1g to 2g we are using means the hyperlink option is there now scrolling option it will take too much of time but here we are using uh, kbps is very high compared with the old one so that's why we can say high speed web is very uh, means uh, uh, the speed of web is very high next video, video conference and 3d gaming purpose so where they started this uh, gaming means whenever we used a 3g technologies they started with the 3d games and video conferencing video conferencing is nothing but what so like uh, uh, we have social media things right so uh, social network social media things are there and we can connect with the uh, what is that uh, imo app okay what's uh, so like that we have different type of the apps are there there we can do the conference in a videos that's why we are telling this one and we can connect these 3g technology of mobile smart mobile if you have means we can use the for the tv streaming you can see like uh, whenever you uh, we used a geo app uh, at the starting time they have provided uh, freely geo app their live streaming will come right for the tv purpose which tv you need etv smart tv ztv anything okay so that streaming also possible with this mobiles the next one is large capacity and broadband capabilities what is nothing but the broadband broadband is nothing but what the capability of sharing the information how much uh, area it will share the information and how much uh, capability is there uh, with the quality of the voice 
communication of the voice okay so that's why we are using and we can use uh, here we can download any type of the videos 11 seconds to 1.5 milliseconds um, using the mp3 okay so but we have the disadvantage here we don't have any disadvantage but the thing we have to tell we have to go with the much more fast operation compared with this 3g technologies that's why we are moving with the 4g technologies here so now we can go with the 4g technologies here so our 4g technology is nothing but compared with the 3g technologies we have much more options so in 4G technology compared with the 3G technology, we have the Wi-Fi module and uh, we have the GSM module and uh, we have the, what is that, GPS module and as well as we can use for the more security and we can do different type of activities with this. Like um, uh, 3D part or any different type of information, uh, like a different type of new, new things uh, we can do with this. Okay. So here in 4G technologies, I'm telling to you, So I'm going with the 4G technology here. So I'm telling high speed data access. How I can say this is high speed data access? So can any person chat in chat box? How I will say high speed data access? We are using mobiles, right? Definitely then we can go with that, right? Yeah, okay, then fine. So now we are going with the 4G technology here. So in this 4G technology, high speed operation are there. The quality of video streaming is very high. And we have used, uh, we are using the Wi-Fi technology and Wi-Fi Max. And we have the capability of 100 Mbps to 1 Gbps speed. And the basic information is here. We are using the 4G. It's like a magic information. So how we are telling the magic information means we can go with any type of the multimedia purpose, more security, more apps, and uh, it's a broadband information we can connect with any person through the world wide so that's why we are going this information okay so in these wireless uh, like uh, in this 4g also we have to improvise much more quality and we need much more security compared with the 4g so that's why so you can see what are the drawbacks in our 4g communication why we are going with the 5g communication so battery uses is more right and the hard to implement yeah for the implementation also it's like a uh, some critical okay so uh, complication of hardware is also very high like uh, you can see past mobiles and present mobiles compared with the past mobiles and present mobiles are very uh, uh, easy to gather the information and lightweight also thing okay so that's why we have to improvise whatever we have the drawbacks we have to remove uh, reduce the uh, drawbacks here and we have to go with the new technologies so you can see in 3g mobiles like this we used and 4g mobiles we have used like this with the security and all this information so now we are going with the 5g technology so in these 5G technology, 5G is nothing but it's a fast operation. We can send or receive the information with less time and we have the Wi-Fi module and previously also we have the Wi-Fi module but it's very less. But now we are going with the 5G technology through the worldwide and we can get the much more information to here. So what are the most information uh, features, best advantages with the 5G technology? So more reliable. And you can see present days all people are using this 5G technologies with a better speed and we have the broadband range is very high and a lot of people will get information within a less time and all people are uh, getting information through the uh, 5G technologies because it's very high speed compared with the last one information okay so in this 5G technology we have started in our 2010s only so almost here uh, we don't have any much more limitations okay so it's very supporting for world wide web okay whatever we need to do uh, with the 5g com like a wireless communication we can do all those things with this 5 g communication okay so if you want to go with the 5g communication the quality hd quality pictures will come like previously uh, you can check with the 4g or 3g mobiles there we can get the less quality of the picture video now we are getting more quality of the 
picture video here because of the quality is very high because the speed and capacity is very high in 5G wireless communication. That's why we are going with this information. So next one is uh, we have a lot of applications with the benefits of this 5G technology. Okay, what we are using for the multimedia purpose, for Y purpose, for video streaming purpose, uh, for internet purpose. Okay, so like that we have different different type, uh, type of advantages are there. And uh, present days uh, we won't show, we won't tell anything much more information for this, right? Because all people know about all those informations, whatever we are discussing here. So we can see uh, the technologies and how we are converting to the 4G to 5G and uh, the main thing we, we have to uh, say like uh, how uh, we just converted to 4G, 5G means we have updated the speed and broadband is very high and uh, data rate is very high compared with the previous one and technologies are improved here. So see uh, you can see uh, we can use for the LAN, WAN, MAN. So we know very well right. So LAN is nothing but local area network wide area network and so like mobile area network like that we can use okay so in 5g wireless communication so we have different type of the applications you can see we are connecting with the towers okay we can uh, if you want to send the information from the mobile to the receiver or receiver uh, sorry one particular area to any other mobiles if you want to communicate with each other so you have to use the towers okay in these towers for any type of the communications you can see here so i'm here for example Okay, if you want to transfer the information from here to here, you have to uh, connect with the space. Then how we are using in a space with the Wi-Fi module and as well as we have to connect with the satellite communication here. So that's why we have user this one. And you, we have a lot of features of with this 5G technology. We know very well about this information because we have less time and we can go with the practical session here. Next one, these are the comparisons, like uh, we have different type of the compar comparisons based on the technologies, multiplexing, so uh, what is that, uh, switching, so code network, handoff information, so all are very high compared with the old technologies, okay, you can see, uh, like a speed is very high and who are people are, uh, uh, what is that, receiving the information, that is also very high, because Previously, we have, for example, previously used only one crore people means now all people are using almost and we need to improve the te technology with the high speed, more high speed and as well as so the speed is also increasing because we have updated with the new technologies in a 5G communication. Okay, and where we are using this uh, 5G wireless communication, you can see. So for any type of the information for the tab information or any mobiles or any televisions at anywhere we can use these informations. Okay. And we can see these informations, how it's solving the problems for the business industry applications. Business and industry, how you will say means, if the person is connected with all information, whatever we have the business, if you are working in a different company, then what will happen? So uh, the, sec the information is very secure, okay? We should be a, with the secret information okay so we can get the secret information here uh, we can uh, whatever we have the information we can use some security for that and you just connect with all each other in business or industrial applications and schools colleges also we can use and for the pilots and whatever we have the applications and anywhere we can use because we have the wi-fi module option is there gps G, gsm module options are there then we can get the information
okay so like that we can uh, connect with the different type of the applications through the mobile through the planes or uh, what is that uh, so through the notes we can connect with any type of the information here okay so these many applications are there with us so before going to this information if you want to go with the uh, how we can work with this wireless communication means we have to know amplitude modulation phase modulation and the frequency modulation so amplitude modulation is nothing but whatever we have the original signal that unwanted carrier signal you have to transfer with this then we can get the modulated signal so what is the definition of the for this here whenever you are going with the amplitude modulation there amplitude can change frequency and the phase is constant so when we can say, then we can say that is the amplitude modulation and when you are going with the frequency modulation and phase modulation so which type of the modulation you are using that is only should change whatever we have the remaining thing that should be in a constant way so in amplitude modulation only amplitude will change frequency and phase are the constant in frequency frequency only will get change and phase and amplitude are uh, constant in phase also the same thing amplitude and frequency constant and phase is changing so here for this information uh, for this communication of the information we are using so multiple type of uh, information here memo so ofdm like that we are using whatever we have the encoding part we have to uh, do the decoding part further from starting to ending information in between what will happen so we have to go with the ofdm modulators so for the modulation purpose and demodulation purpose simply we can think like whatever we are getting the information that is the encoding part if you want to send the information to the receiver then you have to mod modulate that information then it will go to the space after uh, from space to uh, receiving side then you have to mod demodulate again then you have to do the decoding then we can get the information here okay so with this information uh, we can uh, see the output process here for this so now we will go with the practical session here so with the 5g communication how we are improving means based on the quant uh, like amplitude modulation phase mo phase shift keying so quadrature amplitude modulation so by using this uh, information we need to improvise a uh, broadband bandwidth we have to improvise so then only it will work for the 5g technologies so example purpose we are going with this coding part and we can check automatically what we are uh, getting the information here so for this uh, communication purpose i am taking uh, first uh, improvising of the frequencies here so for the ofdm purpose i just worked with the uh phase shift keying quadrature amplitude modulation like that so quadrature phase shift keying also i am using and uh, by using this all those information i can improvise the uh, bandwidth here like a broadband information i can improvise here so why we are using this information means for the ofdm so ofdm and mimo is nothing but what multiple input multiple outputs mimo and if you are going with the ofdm orthogonal frequency division of multiplexing whatever we have the information of the frequency it will do do the multiplexing process here so for that purpose we have to use uh, this uh, in this 5g technology we are using ofdm and how we are using this ofdm means so if you want to do the wideband communication for this and if you want to improvise the amplification if you want to improvise the efficiency so with the multi path propagations we can use this ofdm process with the memo access uh, for the 5g communication so that's why we are using uh, we are taking here for the 5g communication checking purpose for the ofdm purpose we are taking so bpsk qam and as well as the qpsk so now i will open this one and you can see so what i have my code i am taking here here this is about the software of the matlab here we can uh, see the codes of uh, information whatever we have and this is about the current folder whatever we have the folders uh, for the code it will shows here and this is about the script mode whatever we are trying to run the program whatever you wrote the code if you if you already done with that so that code should be open here 
and if you have any uh, like a what is it a input features or the output features that features should be shown here and in workspace if you are storing any values with the particular values with the names so variable names it will show the values here so i am showing here the bpsk so bpsk is nothing but what why we are using this bpsk so we have to improvise the communication using 5g communication that's why we are using the uh, what is that uh, uh, bpsk and qm we are using so why we are using qam means means, uh, means for the multi level modulation technique purpose we are using and if you want to go with the bpsk we want to uh, send the carrier information and if you want to improvise the information in this we can use this bpsk modulation and what we can do here with the BPSK modulation means for the wireless communication. We are using the wireless communication with the 5G technology. So if you want to send the information from the transmitter to the receiver, so without any uh, lossing of the information, if you want to send the information for the long distances, so we can use this BPSK. So that purpose we are using here. So binary phase shift gain we are using BPSK. So for this information, what we need to take to improvise a uh, communication for the long distance communications so you have to transfer the information from the transmitter to the receiver then what you need if you are transferring the information from the transmitter to receiver sometimes in between we can get some noise disturbance we can say that is the SNR signal to noise ratio we can, we can say if you want to reduce the signal to noise ratio information and if you want to transfer the information from the source to uh, receive uh, sorry transmitter to the receiver information that purpose for the long distance uh, distance communications in a 5G technology so we can use this BPSK so for this of the transmitting information I am taking the values for this so what I have my transmitting value 2 I am taking so receiving value I am taking uh, what is that 2 so I am just doing the multiplication for the uh, uh, what is that uh, to improvise the uh, frequency for the long distance communication and I am taking uh, SNR value and remaining values also I am taking for the carry uh, to improvise the signal information here so I am taking my basic values here all are the basic values to improvise the signal so after that uh, I am uh, taking that information to the modulation purpose whatever I have the information I am just doing the modification and I am applying the modulation information I am applying some release part also but here you have to know whenever you are using uh, any like uh, transmitting or receiving the information if you are using much more relays we can get the more clarity of the information okay means the relay information is very high like uh, if you are taking two or three relays and we can get the much more quality of the wireless uh, in communication information so that's why whatever we have the information we are taking the relays part and we have to improvise the signal by using uh, what is that modulation part here we are doing the same thing so modulation and demodulation we are using so that information only we can display at output side by using this MATLAB so just I am running the information so why we are using this BPS is for most long distance communications so how we can say for long distance communications we are using means based on the values if the value of the uh, broadband information value is very high the signal information is very high means we can say so uh, we can get for the much more long distance communication otherwise we can get the less distance communication here and the next one is QAM quadrature amplitude modulation so all those informations we are using for the 5G technologies only now you can see so every time whatever we have the MIMO information with the OFDM multiple inputs and multiple outputs we are just doing the comparison for the 5G communication purpose and you can see whenever you are taking uh, any type of the data signal to noise ratio that's very less compared with the others one the bandwidth should be very high and uh, the remaining uh, whatever we have the signal to noise ratio that's very less so that's why we are assigning here the signal to noise ratio is very high compared with the bandwidth process and now we are going with the QAM quadrature amplitude modulation so in this uh, 5G communication we are using quadrature amplitude modulation why means if you want to send the information for the multiple inputs to multiple outputs 
like how we are using the QPSK for the long distance purpose we have to use the QPSK but if you want to send the information for the multiple inputs to the multiple outputs you should go with the quadrature amplitude modulation here also same thing whatever we have the transmitting uh, uh, value receiving the value signal to noise ratio so how many frequencies uh, like uh, how many carriers you need how many uh, number of uh, sig signals you need whatever we have the information all information we have to take here okay the same thing we are taking here and we are getting the output with the quadrature amplitude modulation for the mym mo the next one is we can go with the qpsk okay you can see the signal to noise ratio very less uh, should be less compared with the normal one whenever you are using this information the next one is we are going with the qpsk so now we can check with the qpsk also so why we are using this qpsk means uh, wait a minute so i will show you the result of this one and after that we can go with the qpsk so this is about the practical part whatever using the same information you can see always the snr should be less compared with the information the snr is very less means then we can get the pure quality of the signal here so that information only for the mymo part we are using so why we are using a, a phase shift keying means quadrature phase shift keying if you want to share the information of the carrier information with the different type of the signal information um, uh, if you want to improvise the bandwidth we can use this key, uh, qpsk here also what we are doing we have to take the transmitting and receiving information snr value and how many carriers you are taking what is the length and each and everything you have to apply here so then here also we can get the comparison over here so like this by using qpsk bpsk qam we can improvise the communication here in a 5g so this is the information about this and uh, registration link uh, they will provide with in this uh, chat box you can check with that and the next one is so hope you understand this information actually the theoretical part is very high because uh, if you want to go with the practical part the one hour is not enough for us so but if you want to know about the practical part first you have to know the theoretical part so that's why i have completed more with the theoretical part then for the next time hope we can enjoy with the practical session okay so today we have discussed what is a uh, communication wired and wireless and uh, how many types of communications are there 1g 2g 3g 4g what are the disadvantages how we are rectifying with the 5g communication and how we are improving the 5g communication with the um, uh modifications with the amplitude uh, quadrature amplitude uh, phase shift keying okay so bpsk quadrature or uh, binary shift key phase shift keying quadrature phase shift keying all things we got here okay so this is about the communication part but uh, compare with the image processing it's not a simple thing okay so if you want to get the more information you have to know much more uh, practical part so thanks for uh, conducting this session from uh, sri venkateshwara uh, permal engineering college thanks for giving this opportunity again if you want to get any information regarding for the projects or any technical information and you can contact to this number so our uh, di director sir senthil sir kumar and srinivasan sir and coordinator sir uh, kumar swami sir you can contact to this numbers I think hope you will enjoy the session if you have any doubts you can contact to this numbers and you can get the much more information okay so any doubts you can put message in chat box so they will uh, they already provided uh, ppt uh, sorry uh, attendance link in chat box you can check uh, you can check with that okay some people are asking about the ppt okay ma you can join with the whatsapp then you can get the more information ma'am shared the coding part of our mail ma'am okay you just contact through the whatsapp uh, pantech then we can get the coding information and uh, not only enough for this 
if you need much more information you can connect with the pantech and you can get the more information with this So any doubts, uh, you can put in chat box. So once again, thank you to uh, Sri Venkateshwara Paramal Engineering College. Thanks for connecting this webinar, sir. So hope all people will get enjoy. But it's not only enough with the single session of the one hour. If you need much more information, you can you can contact with the Pantech. No problem. Okay, so some people are asking about wired and wireless transmission devices. So wired is nothing but what, whatever we are trying to, uh, like uh, any physical uh, uh, things are there to transfer the information from the source to destination, we can say the wired communication. And wireless is nothing but uh, we have only the satellites almost, right? So what we will do with that, so whatever we have the information, uh, we can get the information through the wireless, through the space. Uh, and for that, uh, if you want to get the information through the space also, it's not a simple thing. We have to connect with the antennas and we have to connect with the uh, towers like that. Okay. So any doubts are there, you can check with here. Okay. Thank you. So we can leave the meeting.